Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. I realize I'm a little bit late and I surely do ap apologize. Um, sometimes, no matter how hard I try, I was, I was three minutes early and ready to go. And of course, something came up. Oh, anyway, so I had to get the mom situated and get something for her to watch on TV. She was taking a nap, and it's like, okay, she decided to get up. Um, welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. I kind of swapped out my um, project at the very last minute here, too. I was thinking of doing something a little bit more involved, and I thought, you know, that really probably isn't right for Quick Tip Tuesday. I usually do something rather... Um, simple and quick and then what I wanted to do was this beautiful um, transfer this is um, part of the bot botanicals collection and this particular one is called lilac beauty and I think this would just be um, a wonderful thing to do I was only going to do actually part of it and then it's this, there's this great um, quote by Henry David Thoreau and I just thought it would be great, but then I'm thinking, oh, by the time I do the leaves and the lilacs and the stems and da-da-da-da-da, it's going to be a very long Quick Tip Tuesday. So I swapped it out for something else that's a little bit probably more appropriate for the season coming up, but I think I will kind of do this one day this week. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do the, <clears throat> excuse me. Rejoice transfer. It's simple. It's little, and then I think it'll basically show you how to do this. And it's, it's, believe me, it's simpler than you would think. Seriously. Um, and watercolor paper. This is a nice quality water paper. Watercolor paper. It's 140 pounds, so it's nice and thick. And this is kind of like a cream color. Let me just pull off the sheet here. And we'll get moving. I'm coming at you live from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line. Let me know where you're viewing from. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Say hello. If it's your first time watching, um, just put the word first in the comments. Hi, Deb. How are you? So that I could give you a, an appropriate welcome. How cool, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> I know I talk about how you can use our transfers, not stencils, transfers on so many different surfaces. And yes, you can use them on paper, you can use them on cardboard, you can use them on watercolor paper. And I think I've done something on, um, on a paper or on a cardboard in the past. I can't think of what the, the um, project was. All of our transfers come in these little cellophane envelopes. This is our smallest size, our A size. There's instructions for use and for cleaning on the back of the envelope, so don't throw them out. I always put mine back in the little cell thing, too, when I'm done using them. And then I hang them either by a little hook like this in my armoire. I have an armoire for my um, chalk stuff. Or if they're the larger transfers, I have a, a little clip um, with a hook at the top, and I hang them on a rod. These go on little hooks on the armoire door, so, so it makes it real easy to find, real easy to use. They're sorted by size, and they need to be sorted a little bit more, but someday I'll get there. I'm glad you're doing great. I'm, uh, I, I think I'm talking a little bit too fast because I feel like I've been rushed all day today. So many things to do, and um, I guess I probably just need to slow down a moment and gather my thoughts. Um... I'm being that I changed my projects at the last minute. I just need to kind of see what paste I have out here and swap out the colors that I was going to use. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit weird. Um, really thinking about this a little bit. I was going to do the wording in our olive shimmer and... Um, the angel in just all gold but I think what I'll do is I'll do I wanted to work in the olive shimmer but I really can't I was gonna do it for the for the wording 
but I'd like to actually use the sh shimmer plum I think would be pretty so I think I'm gonna just do um, I'll do the gold for a thrill of the and weary and then the purple or the shimmer plum for the larger lettering and then the gold for the angel to kind of tie everything together anyway to get started with that basically whenever you're using a transfer on paper you want to fuzz it because this is paper it's a nice you want to use a nice quality thick stack of watercolor paper and we're not going to do it tonight but you could actually chalk on watercolor paper and then use your chalk to watercolor um which is pretty cool and lots of fun maybe we'll do another project like that not too far in the future just to kind of show you how easy it is. I'm pulling the transfer off of its backer sheet. Notice one side is shiny, glossy, the other is dull. The glossy side always attaches to the sticky side of the transfer. And I'm going to put this transfer on my fuzzing cloth and fuzz it. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a towel or a shirt or a pair of jeans or a sweater, whatever. Basically, all you want to do is deliberately apply lint to the back of the transfer so that it doesn't stick so tightly that it's difficult to remove. So I'm going to fuzz this quite a bit because I don't want it sticking to my paper. And different quality paper, I mean, you have to watch for, obviously, if you have some paper that's more like, um, oh my goodness, there's a kind of scrapbooking paper that's real thin but real fuzzy, I'd be a little bit leery of that because the fuzz from the paper could very well come off on the transfer and I am sorry I have to run go check on mom there's something that she's upset about I will be right back Try this. Well, it says it can't see. 
I do apologize. Oh my goodness, I didn't, I, whatever, like I said, some days you just can't plan things, right? And I had a hard time understanding what mom meant because sometimes she means, she says see instead of hear or, you know, she swaps pronouns or whatever since her stroke, but basically she's gotten her speech back. So that's, that's pretty cool all in all. Um, so I kind of finally figured out what she was saying. Anyway, so fuzz it a lot, um, and oh my goodness, I can't think of that kind of paper. You cheer it, and there's like little fuzzies on the edges, and it's a little uneven. Anyway, I would not use a transfer on that type of scrap of paper just because you would have a difficult time getting all the little fuzzes because they're very fine and almost like feathers off of the um, transfer. So I think I fuzz this quite a bit, and I'm going to apply it. And it really doesn't matter where I apply it. I guess I'm going to apply it somewhat in the corner over here. And I could just cut this out and adjust as necessary. So I want to smooth it out, make sure I don't have any air bubbles in it. And I'm going to get to work on this. Now, remember, I'm not going to actually be doing... Where did I put it? Here we go. I'm not going to actually be doing any watercoloring on it. I'm just using watercolor paper. However... You could watercolor on your watercolor paper after you've chalked it or before you've chalked it or whatever. So that's always an option. I'm going to do the small lettering in the gold, and I'm also going to get these tiny little stars in the gold chalk paste. And I'm using a little cut-up um, squeegee here that I made smaller deliberately because Kathy, in her haste and confusion has misplaced her multi-tool and my detail tool. Seriously, I have no idea where I put them, which is part of the craziness. In general, usually I'm not this bad. It's just there's been so much going on that um, I put them somewhere. Didn't, they're not where I normally clean them or anything. I'm sure I packed them and put them in some type of case and just have forgotten where which is kind of disturbing. That's not me, but yeah, I'll throw a little bit of uh, insomnia in there, and I guess it is me. What can I say? Okay, so I, whoops, I got to get a little bit more, more gold in there. Just got the cupboard, and then I want to do the rest of the little stars. If you have any questions, just jump in and ask them. I'm happy to answer anything. Whether it has to do with this project or whether it has to do with anything else, it's, it's just fine. One of the nice things with um, watercolor paper is it obviously is not that expensive. And if you want to frame this in like a photo frame or, you know, a, a glass frame type of thing, you can very well do that. And I know those can be very um, inexpensive at some stores. And if you need to do a lot of gifts or you're doing gift exchanges and you need to do something very economical, this might very well be a solution. Just grab some um, watercolor paper and some inexpensive frames and some cool transfers and basically create your little masterpieces and frame them. Especially, I think, if you could find a transfer that's personal to the recipient has something to do with their interests or their beliefs or their likes or their style so much the better or a favorite quote of theirs how cool would that be isn't it wonderful when you get just the right gift when somebody gives something to you that you know that they basically get you they understand you because they hit the nail on the head i think that's kind of unusual but when it happens it's just awesome I strive for that with my gifts, but sometimes it's easier than others. Okay, so that's it for my gold, and I'm going to open up my shimmer plum, which I think is just so very, very pretty. You take off this cover. Somewhere along the line, I had heard that we were supposed to keep these covers, 
so they didn't dry out. And then I found out, nope, that's not true. So let me take the cover off, give this a little stir. Oh my goodness, isn't this beautiful? It's like that kind of royal kind of purple. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. It's beautiful. So I'm going to come in here and do my other lettering with this. Like I said, this is a rather simple transfer. Something quick and easy just to kind of go over the technique. And are you noticing something here about the technique? It's pretty much like chalk and anything, isn't it? We need to fuzz it more because we're going on paper. But in reality, I have to get the chalk off of that. In reality, it's the same kind of application. I need to get into this little area up there, and I'm not quite sure how to get in there with the squeegee, so I might have to adjust things a little bit. So you apply your paste. I mean, obviously, fuzz, fuzz, fuzz your transfer. Apply your paste, pushing it through the silk screen. Smoothing it out. Make sure you get good coverage. Smooth it out. Remove the excess. And then it's peel and reveal time. How simple and easy is this? Do I have... Are you, do I have you thinking about some things that you might want to do with this for gifts? It might be quick and easy, but special. Aren't those the perfect type of things? Okay. Let me clean up a little bit of this. Get rid of my excess. Put the excess back in my jar. Whoops. Right up the squeegee there. And I need to clean my fingers really quick before I try lifting that up because I've got paste all over. Hey, Tracy, how are you? If you don't fuzz the transfer, there's the potential of it sticking to the paper and lifting some of it up. Um, with a good heavy-duty uh, watercolor paper, you're less apt to do that. But with some other paper that's a little bit thinner, um, you could very well do that or tear the paper. Or worst, comes to, worst case scenario is the paper gets stuck to the back of the transfer. And being that the transfer is adhesive, you don't want to um, get something stuck. You miss some of the handle of the pot. Of the bugle. I don't know what you mean, Deb. That's fine. Ask away. I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah, no, Deb, it's not in the bag with my other tools. Isn't that crazy? I got a little um, carried away and started sorting things, and I thought I was doing really good. And my little toolkit, believe me, is like filled to the max, and it's not in here. Um, I think I need... I think I need another little toolkit. I actually like this. It's great. The zipper's good quality, and it's it's lasted me fairly well. Okay, I'm gonna lift. Always lift top, bottom, left or right. Never lift from the corner because you don't want to stretch your transfer. So I'm gonna lift this slowly to see if I missed anything. And if I missed anything, now see how it's kind of sticking there, and it's a little bit tough for me to lift up. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let me put this aside because I need to clean it. And we'll take a little look at this. Simple and easy. And because it's a nice quality um, watercolor paper, it really didn't buckle or anything. It's, it will absorb the moisture from the chalk paste because obviously it's paste and it's porous and it absorbs it. Um, I have a little tiny speck that I missed in the R, but I think I could probably go back um, with maybe even a, a little stir stick and yet a little dot dot there. Oh, I missed the top of the H. I think that's what Deb was probably referring to. Okay, well, I'll fiddle around with it. I might like clean my transfer and lay this back over and then fix it. Ah, uh, I got it. I see what you're saying, Deb. Thank you. Um, but what you'll notice here that's a little bit different from on a lot of our surfaces is look at how that shimmer paste, let me change my lighting a moment here. 
and see if this makes a difference. The shimmer paste, it, it's drying rather, rather quickly because of the por porosity of the watercolor paper. But can you see the shimmer? The plum has really got a lot of shimmer and so does, if you could, I, well, there I think I just caught some. So does the gold. It really is very pretty. I don't know. I don't think it, it picks it all up, but I mean, it is like very, very shiny, much more so than on wood and my, even more than on um, chalkboards. The angel's dress is just all, all shimmery and so is the purple. I mean, it is very, very pretty. Now, personally, I think one of the nicest and the um, coolest ways to use watercolor paper is to, um, you could actually buy a floating frame where they have both sides are glass and you just close it together and then you have the clear frame around it. But in reality, you could do somewhat similar with just a regular frame, a photograph frame. And just, um, if you have to pop it in place against the back, use a little glue dot or something like that to hold it as opposed to the, um, the floating frames where you've got two pieces of glass next to each other holding it in place. I think that would make a lovely gift for someone. So easy, so simple, and look at how quick. So just that's how you how you chalk on watercolor paper. We'll do a, a part two to this and actually show how we chalk on watercolor paper and then watercolor on the watercolor paper just for another technique for you. Maybe it'll be next Tuesday and it might be a good idea to kind of expand on it a little bit. You can use shimmer on glass, yes. You can use shimmer on anything. The only thing I find with the shimmer that is difficult is um, actually painting with it. If you try painting a piece of wood with the shimmer, you're going to end up having to do, a, I'm going to clean this as we talk, you're going to end up having to do a couple coats because the shimmer, um, when you're actually painting with it, of course you add a little bit of water like you always do with um, any of our, um, chalk paste when you paint with them it almost seems like it's more translucent and you have to do probably two if not three coats to actually get coverage so if you're gonna if you want to shimmer as the base what I would suggest is paint with um, maybe just all white or a color a flat color not the shimmer first and then put the second coat on with the shimmer I'm using my little board eraser here to remove the chalk paste off of the top of my transfer. And notice it's getting rid of some of that staining to the transfer. Now the quicker I get it off, the less staining that I'll get. But remember that the higher pigmented, um, the higher pigmented pastes are going to be more apt to stain your transfer. It does not impact the functionality at all. It just doesn't look as pretty and as pristine as it did when it was brand new. But it doesn't impact the number of uses or anything like that. Best way to clean it is just run it over to the sink, rinse it with water. You could kind of rub off the paste with your fingers or you could still use a board eraser. I like to follow up with a, a little disinfecting wipe. Make sure I get everything off of it that's going to come off. Make sure my silk screen is clean. Then flip it over and clean the adhesive side. Make sure I don't have any chalk paste in my silk screen. And when I make sure that's nice and clean, then I remove the, the fuzz or the lint that I deliberately applied. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna take the fuzz off of it. Just kinda fold this over, get a cleaner thing. And I usually just go across it wiping off the fuzz and that's all there really is is to it for that so look at how easy yes we could use our chalk paste and our transfers on watercolor paper just make sure you fuzz 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 okay and then remember to remove the fuzz when you're done you want to return that adhesive to its natural sticky sticky state speed up drying i'm going to put the the transfer on the fuzzing cloth on the microfiber side, sticky side up, squeeze out the moisture, and then set it aside to dry, and then put its carrier sheet or its backer sheet on it. 
You don't have to blot it on your fuzzing cloth, but it speeds up the drying and it does make the adhesive a little bit stickier. So I like to do that. I feel like I get more additional uses out of my um, transfers if I do that regularly. <clears throat> if you are not aware of our week three of our Black Friday sale, you just need to check it out. It is so cool. This week we have 40% off of many of our B-size transfers and our B-size transfers are eight and a half by 11 size, which I don't have one out here. This is nine by 12, so figure eight and a half by 11 is probably about an inch off of each you know, side of it. So they're good size transfers or the same size transfers that you get in our um, Club Couture subscription package. And not only do we have 40% off some of the um, some of the transfers, we have a sale on some specific surfaces. And if you haven't checked it out, let me take a real quick run and tell you what surfaces are still available. The Odette board, um, our Odette board is gone, unfortunately. Um, it is sold out, and it was the our rectangular or 9 by 12 uh, Odette board. Oops, actually, I have one right here. I think I mentioned this the other day. This is a really cool board, but this is sold out, so you cannot get it. But we still have our Sylvie boards, our 9 by 12 Sylvie boards, either the black frame with the white chalk background or the white frame with the black chalk background. And then we have one that's 9 by, oh, I'm sorry, 12 by 18. Um, in addition to that, we also have, um, oh my goodness, what is it? We have our, um, I don't know, they, they haven't been around for a bit, but um, I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's been a while. We have a chalkboard that does not have a frame, and it's shaped like an octagon, and that is a great value. So we have our transfers and a couple select boards that are deeply discounted. The third week of um, Black Friday sale runs from, well, around started this Monday, and it'll run until midnight mountain time on Sunday. So if there's anything there that you need, there's plenty of, ho of Halloween things, or there's a couple Halloween things. There's some transfer specific for Valentine's Day. There's some um, some Christmas type things. There are quite a, there's quite a few of Halloween things. I love the flying lessons. Um, I think that was a cute Halloween thing from last year actually. But um, a very nice selection. So definitely go take a peek at those and see what you think. I put the link here in my comments. And if you are not familiar with Club Couture, Club Couture is our hot subscription package that basically gives you one B-size transfer that is exclusive to designers and club members. So it's the 8.5 by 11 transfer along with three individual paste packets. It is mailed directly to your address. You do not pay shipping. Shipping is on us. And the uh, three individual paste packets, the colors are specifically curated to match with the transfer. So there's no figuring things out or deciding what would go best, whatever. It's all done for you. You also get a PDF of the instructions to make it and a video. And that way, you can, without any must fuss or thinking about it, you can just sit down and give yourself an hour or so of creative bliss, all for $19.99 a month. And membership has its privileges because club members get special perks throughout the year. This month's perk is order $100 and receive totally free shipping. So even if you order $100 of surfaces, which can be very heavy, and our Aiden boards are beautiful, magnetic um, porcelain chalkboards with 50-year warranties, you can get them for free shipping with if your order's over $100. Otherwise, club members pay a flat rate of $4.95 per order, regardless of the size of the order. So in reality, that's also a good deal. But there's other perks. They change every month. The shipping, the $4.95 shipping's there forever. So I just put this on the back. Remember the shiny side against the adhesive, and then I'll put it back in its little cellophane envelope so that I could store it away but how easy
to do that. What do you think? Thank you. Yes, I think it is very pretty. Pretty, simple, easy. And in reality, you could probably do almost a little assembly line and crank a couple of these out each time without spending a lot of time. If you'd like more information about the Club Couture, just comment Club in the comments and I will send you the link to find out all, all the additional details of it. If you would like to see the Black Friday specials, just click on my little um, comment below. Um, it says chock full of fun and it'll send you over there so that you can see. I think there's like five pages, almost six pages of specials. Um, and if you'd like to do what I do and become a designer for Chalk Couture, whether you want to be a designer to save money on your supplies as a hobbyist, or you want to do it as a side hustle, or you want to create your own empire, just type in team in the bottom and I will send you a link to a no obligation video that tells you all about it. You're welcome, Tracy. Thanks, Deb. Have a nice evening. See you soon.